Hey there, fellow defenders of Super Earth. Welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to spot for all the latest and greatest in the gaming world. Today, we've got some explosive news for all you Helldivers 2 enthusiasts out there. Mark your calendars for April 11th because it's going to be a big day. I'm talking about new weapons, armor, cosmetics, and a whole lot more coming your way with the Democratic Detonation Premium War Bond. Let's dive right in and unpack what this update has in store for us. Since its drop into the heat of battle back in February, Helldivers 2, developed by Arrowhead Game Studios and brought to us by Sony Interactive Entertainment, has quickly ascended the ranks to become a fan favorite. Battling cyborgs and insectoid terminids across the universe has never felt more rewarding. But it's not just about the thrill of the fight, folks. It's also about the gear, and boy, does democratic detonation deliver. With new primary weapons like the BR-14 Adjudicator Rifle and the R-36 Eruptor Rifle, you're looking at some serious firepower. And let's not forget the CB-9 Exploding Crossbow for when you really want to make an impact. And for those who like to get up close and personal, the update has got you covered with new armor suits and capes for customization. From the C-27 Groundbreaker to the FS-55 Devastator, there's something for every style of play. Let's talk strategy for a second. The new gear is not just about looking good, it's about playing smart. Take the G-123 Thermite Grenade and GP-31 Grenade Pistol, for example. These are game changers for crowd control and quick, explosive damage. And for those moments when you need a quick exit, the Expert Extraction Pilot Booster is going to be your best friend. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The Warbond system in Helldivers 2 has been a topic of much debate. Unlike other live service games, advancing here requires a bit more grind, trading in medals and currency from gameplay. Some love it for the challenge, others find it a tad discouraging for solo play. But with democratic detonation, the rewards just might tip the scales. And speaking of rewards, the introduction of stylish capes like the Harbinger of True Equality and Eagle's Fury adds that extra flair to your Helldiver. It's all about fighting in style, right? Before we wrap up, let's touch on a bit of controversy. The Helldivers 2 community was recently stirred up over a free cape celebrating the liberation of Malevolent Creek. A small group threatened to team kill or ban players sporting this cape. It's a reminder that even in a game about unity and defense, tensions can run high. So what's your take on the Democratic Detonation update? Excited about the new additions? Have thoughts on the Warbond system? Drop your comments below, we'd love to hear your strategies, expectations, and yes, even your concerns. As always, stay tuned to Joystick News for more updates, deep dives, and everything you need to keep your gaming experience fresh. Remember, April 11 is the day. Prepare your loadouts, strategize with your squad, and let's make those Terminids wish they never messed with Super Earth.